but I'm thinking the bottom part. Oh my yeah. goodness! Yeah, if you watch real closely, you can see it. Now, this has been scrubbed. It's not on WWE Network. It's not on YouTube because it's very adult. We found it on the Hub site. We're gonna watch it. You'll have to. You can watch along. We'll put a few pictures on screen, but we have to keep it fairly PG. This is all an elaborate ruse to log into <laughs> Hub on yeah. my account so mm -hmm. you can see what I've been. <laughs> oh, I didn't see that yet. What have you been looking <laughs> no, at? Not, how many? Nothing, nothing. How many girls have you been watching? Nothing. All right, so I'm pressing play on this. It'll start off here in a moment, okay. but it's Kimona Wanalea, the night she danced atop ECW arena. They should make a movie out of that, like the night the like a stripper saved the show. Oh yeah, I like that. I love it. That's it's been every night for me. <laughs> every night is the night. the night. <laughs> and the thing is, like, there's some argument over, like, she. There's some claims that she didn't necessarily want to be released on the DVD or on the VHS tape okay. or anything. Like she was just doing it for the live audience. Like yeah. One time only. Yeah. If you were lucky enough to be here, you get to see it. But this came out on. Um, VHS and it sold a lot of copies and Paul Heyman made a lot of money. I don't think she gets residuals off of oh my it. Goodness, so here it's exciting. playing. Yes. So Kimona, how old do you think she is here? Twenty four. Okay. Maybe? And um, that's where she pops out. You can kind of Whoa. see a little bit. Oh my goodness! <laughs> can we rewind that? <laughs> no, I don't. Well, you can later. Okay. It's on your account, so. And um, she's actually, like, I've got her on Facebook now, uh, Christina Laum, Laum, um, really sweet lady, still posts a little bit moderately, like, sexual memes, like, she's kind of fun, she's kind of edgy. It, she is great at what she does. She's wow. a great dancer, right? Great and calves? I'm an ECW fan now. <laughs> I already liked it before, because I liked that, you know, it had the rock and roll yeah. feel, you felt like you are at a concert. Yeah. Love the performers. I like the crowd when we saw that, like, th those people were just tanked. Like, yeah. they were so drunk and rowdy and kind right. of fun. I like the energy of it. So I'm assuming <clears throat> that the crowd is just going crazy right yeah. now. But, but... Well, and you'll notice the only thing that Amy has seen so far was John Cena versus Rob Van Dam, which was WWE's attempt to recreate this. They bought the company mm -hmm. and they tried to put the bring the fans in, put the wrestlers right, versus like WWE guys. Yeah, only. one night stand. Yeah. Look at this guy just taking zoomed wow. pictures of. She is just down. On, that is a very dirty floor. Yeah, is that? Yeah. I love it. Wow. So what do you? She is amazing. She is a great dancer. I would go to more strip clubs if there was this level of and, talent there. And COVID. Oh, awesome. Yeah. So uh, if you look. Whoa! Did, did, did. <laughs> Another. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now one of the other notes here is there's a lot of holes being pushed into the drywall in right now. Is that what the... Look, there are guys just poking holes in the drywall from the locker room so they can see. They're literally poking holes in the wall. This lady needs a biopic. Like, the night people started tearing down walls to see her strip I would, yeah, I, would, I would have poked a hole in the wall one way That's or the other. Amazing. She is, like, taking her outfit off underneath a towel... Mm -hmm. And then putting it back on underneath the towel. That's She's talent. very talented. She's a very yes. talented young lady. Whoa! I don't know who she might have been dating at this point. Like, I, I assume that maybe she was dating, like, Raven or somebody. So, Is again, a girl? Raven's a boy, but I like, no, your, I like the way you like, think. It sounds like a girl's name. So, um, leave us a comment below if you know, like, how she got involved There's in wrestling. Hole. <laughs> There's a the, You notice these holes are getting bigger and more frequent. The boys are very interested in seeing this. Are you wearing your John Cena shirt yes. for a ECW? Ooh, you'd be kicked out of the arena. And she put her outfit back on somehow under yeah, the towel. Yeah, it's magic. She's so good at what she does. I'm glad that she has that towel on the floor yeah, now yeah. because the floor is like freaking me out. I don't want her touching that too much. I like a dancer who brings a blanket for the <laughs> stage. <laughs> We've seen that before. Yeah, we, one time we went, it was Tampa. And... Uh, Tampa's, you know. It's so crazy. that story was this lady said her knees hurt, so she brought like. Just a full-size blanket with her on stage. She did not have Komodo Wanalea's dancing no, skills. No. She was much older. But she just took, like, mm -hmm. Yeah, that happened. So I have to wonder. I don't know what This can't be legal, say, right? So I'm just like, meh. <laughs> this can't be legal? Because... Wait, she's allowed to dance. There, there is no age restriction to get in the door. You can't do a striptease for 10-year-olds, can, can you? as long as you don't take anything off. Things popped out. And she did take everything off. <laughs> but she had a towel around her. Kind of. Are they tipping her dollars through the 
holes oh, now. Oh my goodness. She, she only made a dollar for this. This isn't fair. And look how dirty that towel is now because it was on the ground. Yeah. I know I'm. Too, oh my god, yeah. I'm too. You're worried, worried about, about her hygiene. It, but yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. I want my ladies to be clean. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> yeah. There is a certain level of clean to dirty ratio that has to hit an apex. She's good at what she does. Yeah. And this is. They can't see what you're doing, so you can't just say she's good. I, there is no other word that I'm allowed to say on YouTube <laughs> to describe what she's doing. <laughs> I'm not falling for it. You're not getting uh, in trouble. We are not no, getting but you, you get, you get, for this. <laughs> no. So that's unfortunate part about YouTube. They WWE and YouTube have done everything they can to take. I think she's got a finger in. Um, <laughs> See, there's nothing you can say. You cannot talk about those fingers. <laughs> Our thumbnails is going to be. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so. This kid over here is just like, you guys are. You guys are crazy. Baby. So. But, so all the people that came to ECW that night were just like, whoa, surprise, extra bonus. Like what do they call, like in baseball when you get extra innings or something? Like, this, mm, this is, is overtime. Like, it's like a halftime show. They got a halftime show, I think would be the correct but term. But you got like way more than you paid for. If you thought you were just going to see some dudes wrestling and then all of a sudden you get to see this. Yeah. Like that's. But, and it's interesting because WWE tried to emulate this and do a lot. You saw their attempts with Sable and... But this is like... This is more authentic. Authentic and yeah. dirty and like, almost like... <clears throat> it seems like we shouldn't be pop. watching this. Yeah. What makes it better? Yes. Things could pop out. You don't know. Like, what might happen. It, it, it has that feeling of anything could happen. Like, people could punch holes in the wall and stick dollars through it. Like, it's really crazy. Yeah. She could, uh, she's going to need a tetanus shot after the show, okay. I think. Oh, yeah. Uh, some a couple knees. shots. She's yeah, gonna need a couple shots. For her knees for sure, and I yeah. But <laughs> it's awesome. So then, and, like you hear rumors that this is happening at ECW, you're yeah. gonna show up to ECW. That's the thing. Like you're gonna they, show up, you're gonna buy the DVDs. They showed still images. She is licking parts of her own yeah. body. Yeah, they showed still images of this, and they just said buy the buy the VHS and see the night Kimona Wanalea danced atop the ECW arena. This was the first adult thing I ever searched on the internet. Wow, you were old. <laughs> I was, you were six. <laughs> Four, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> so, um, then there's this guy's running by in the background. This is a, she put on a heck of a show. That's amazing. So if this was your first exposure, and it is your first exposure to real ECW. This is your first up. time. I'm a fan. I love right. it. Right. Yes. Compared yes. to I'm the wrestling trash man or I'm the yeah. guy from New Zealand. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I see why it was wildly popular. I'm almost sad that it kind of like got swallowed up and mm -hmm. watered down because this is like, it seems like almost what's wrong with WWE today is that they don't have that competition. It's mm -hmm. kind of like forcing it to maybe push the envelope yeah. or not. I, I understand from a business standpoint why they want to be friendly for advertisers. Sure. Like, that's it's why money. We, that's, that's money. Why Kids we, are money. Yeah, we can't say whatever we want on YouTube or whatever. You know, you have to worry about that. But it does water things down. You were talking this week. We were watching um, Howard or listening to Howard Stern, mm -hmm. and he's no longer saying curse words. Yeah, he said he's not saying the bad curse words anymore. And he says because he's trying to clean up his act. And no, it's sponsors. No, it's, sponsors. it's sponsorships. Right? Everything's run by ad money, and so it's nice to go back to an era of ECW where it was just kind of like, no, we're yeah. gonna be crazy. Um, this week, this week, Jim Ross, and depending on watch this probably a couple weeks ago, depending on when we upload this, I'll probably upload this pretty quick. Um, Jim Ross in a AEW, the new wrestling organization that he's working for, um, he said something to the degree, I think he was talking about Tessa Blanchard or one of the wrestlers, I don't know. Um, and it was like, almost had a wardrobe malfunction. And he's like, I wish that would happen or something. You know, he just said something in passing and the internet practically tried to... Me too. I was like, I can't believe he's sexually harassing these girls, saying he hopes their boobs pop out during a wrestling event. And I think we've just gone... Like, and then, the, obviously, there's a lot of old-school wrestling fans who are like, calm down. Yeah. What are your take? What's your take on that? I mean, I don't... I haven't heard it, so I don't want to speak on something that I haven't seen mm -hmm. in context. I can see where if you are a wrestler that you're trying to be taken seriously from that girl's sure. standpoint that she might be like come on i'm trying to do sure. my job i don't want you to wish that i got you know but there mm -hmm. 
at the same time, like... Yeah, I don't think she I'm, said anything about it, but yeah. Yeah, you know, I'm... I could, I could see... If somebody has a right to say something about it, it's her. If she felt sure. that way. If she felt like, hey, I'm trying to do my job. Like, yeah. stop wanting to just see my tits. Mm. But... You know, that it kind of does take the fun out of things yeah. if you're used to wardrobe well, malfunction. What, which is interesting because I feel like he, be, Jim, gained popularity in the Attitude Era 90s where it was about that sort of product. Yeah. And then now it's like, well, I can't I can't say the things I would, which made me popular. Um, and I and the internet, our fans can correct us. I don't know who the female wrestler was involved. If it's Tessa Blatchard or someone else, please uh, leave me a comment below so I know. I, you know I didn't research this before we talked about it. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, so that was fun to watch. Yeah. Thank you, Amy, for joining us. Mm -hmm. Again, Amy is brand new to wrestling, so leave us comments below what we should watch. Definitely more ECW stuff if you have recommendations. Yeah. This is my, I think, third introduction to yeah. ECW, and so far oh. it's like three for three. What did what did we see so far? The Sandman, and I don't remember who Oh, who yeah. Was. We didn't record that. We were just... Oh, it was just for... San, it was before we watched the other match. Okay, Sandman, and then the Van Dam versus John Cena. Mm -hmm. I can't yeah. see me sure. She's a big John Cena fan. No, I just found this. <laughs> um, and this. Hey, hey, what's up with everybody in the world? This your boy, Kylie Muscle. <clears throat> and as you see, I represent muscle and fitness and cuts and striations. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> and this is a shout out to the team at Thenergy. You guys are doing a great work, man. Nobody care more about fitness and nutrition than I do. So keep up the good work. It's all about incredible gains and great Results. Stay motivated. Love y'all. Let me give you a little more inspiration and motivation. Look at them cuts. Love you. Stay blessed.